Okay, so the servers came up, I'd say, 20 minutes ago, but they haven't been too stable. I've been kicked out a few times and had to relog back in. I already updated ELV UI and weak auras as well. Uh, my SCADA is outdated, but it seems like it's working fine for now. And I would prefer not to have to change it. I, for some reason, have always loved SCADA. So hopefully I don't have to get used to using another one. But I wanted to just quickly make this video because I changed my weak auras and I wanted to just make this video to talk about it and in case people end up liking it, then it will be something that I provide in the information box below. I will copy the import string and I'll place it into pastebin as usual. Before this, I had a very, very basic setup and I just kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit. I know it's very easy where you can just have like your cooldown counters going and that's it. I decided to look up a weak aura for Disc Priest that somebody else made and not taking credit for it at all. It is by Chechi. Here you can see Chechi Disc. As you can see, there's a lot more to it than what is showing. So previously, before I modified it a little bit, it used to have other icons on here that are no longer relevant. So for example, it used to have a cooldown for Power Word Shield right here where I have every man for himself. So I already modified this week aura for my personal use. So yeah, I replaced the Power Word Shield here and I also replaced one of the cooldowns. I don't remember which one it was, but I put Desperate Prayer right here. And it also had a small visual difference in the middle, as you can see right here. Here, let me try to get it to show. So before it had the penance icon circular and you needed another add-on installed for it to appear that way. But I don't really care about a touch up like that. So I decided that I'm just going to hide these two instead of having them shown. So as you can see here under load, I have it shown for never. So that won't be showing normal. So this is what the default will look like outside of combat, in combat, doesn't matter. So this blue is my mana bar. This I would assume is the percentage of mana I have. And so here I just have my penance counter for cooldown. I guess it would probably be easier if I had a uh, the clock effect on it to show the cooldown and maybe visually it'll be easier to see the cooldown that way, but I'm not really sure I care too much about it. Oh, beforehand, they also had the GCD thing here. Let me show you guys. So it had a GCD thing showing right there, but I don't really think I care that much about it. And this zero right here is actually supposed to be an atonement counter. I don't know if they changed anything specifically, but I went and looked up other atonement counters and looked at their scripts and their settings to see if I could get it to work. But right now it's not working and I'm not sure why, but at the same time, I'm not really sure I need an atonement counter. So I'm probably just going to hide it as well. Well, anyways, even if the clock effect for the cooldown would be easier to see, I don't really think I mind the number should be good enough for me. So let me just use a few cooldowns so you can see. Paint suppression. So this thing right here is my rapture buff duration. I'll have to see if I find it all that useful, but I suppose it doesn't take up that much space, so it will probably be helpful to see. Every man for himself. Radiance. And I guess I might actually hide that button. It seems a little obnoxious just to tell me that the target doesn't have, uh, what's this called? It's not called pain. What's it called? Purge. Yeah. I mean, I think this, so I guess the goal of this one is to let you know when it's almost running out and when it doesn't have the debuff. So I'm not too sure I like it. Now that I think about it, it might actually not be so bad because... Wait, where the fuck did it go? What the hell? 
Oh, is it because I dropped out of combat or something? Let me see. If this, okay. Yeah, so it had, okay. All right, so I'm discovering more about this weak aura, but it seems like that purge the wicked thing only shows up when you are in combat and if you are, as you can see, actively targeting something that has it where it's about to run out, but otherwise it won't show up. So I switch targets, it's there. I switch targets, it's there. So what I was gonna say is that this left side shows you the duration of purge on the target you were targeting. And the obnoxiousness of this might not be so bad because Oftentimes, when I was playing before, I was using these nameplates to determine whether Purge was on there. Like, I would look up here to see if I needed to apply it. But if all I need to do is tab and then look over here, then I would definitely find that to be much more useful. Wow, you drop out of combat really fast out here. I'm kind of surprised about that. Oh yes, and with my 1,000 waking essences that I got earlier, wakening, waking, whichever it's called, I bought Velen's Future Sight because I never got it on my priest. I got it as the first legendary on my druid, so yeah, little cooldown thing right here, very useful. And then I have a angelic feather one over here. I'm not really sure which other one I could. Oh yeah, this life grip leap of faith thing can't use it on somebody outside of my party but yeah this is my new weak aura I actually really like it I think it's very clean not positive I yeah I'm gonna remove the GCD just because I don't really think it's necessary at all 10 years plus of playing this game I don't need to visually see where my GCD is at don't really think so alrighty well this is the new setup that I am choosing to go with so as I said, I will provide the string, import string, in the information box. And if anybody has any other questions, feel free to leave a comment. Enjoy the pre-patch, guys.